a.m. I feel so far from where I've been. I got my eggs, I got my pancakes too. Got my maple syrup, everything but you. I break the yolks, make a smiling face. I kinda like it in my brand new place. I wipe the spots off of the mirror, don't leave the keys in the door. I never put wet towels on the floor anymore, cause dreams last for so long. Even after you're gone. Coffee, but it didn't want to talk. What is your name? Yeah, that's Carmen, right? I was like, aren't you supposed to be in Iona? Do you live in Iona? You live here? Carmen, it's so good to see you. I thought that was you. I didn't want to say it's your name, Carmen, and then if it wasn't, it's nice to see you. She's playing a show with me at the Carmen you gonna kill it that night. It's nice to see ya. I called my mom, but she was out for a walk. I consoled a cup of coffee, but it didn't want to talk. Picked up the paper, it was more bad news. More hearts being broken, more people being used. Put on my coat in the pouring rain. I saw a movie, but it wasn't the same. It was happy, man, I was sad. It made me miss you, oh, so bad, cause dreams last for so long. Even after you're gone. that this song got written we wrote it together and you never know when a song's going to become popular but anyways if you go home tonight and you're bored before you go to sleep look at Jewel singing this the official MTV video it's kind of fun to watch it's back in like 1996 and I'm the guy in the video with her <laughs> and part of the video I'm not wearing a shirt and I'm going like this I don't know why I'm doing this <laughs> It's like one of those during the MTV thing and then Jules singing like this and I'm coming up behind her with my head in her neck going, touching her face going. It's all so serious. So anyways, this is back in like 97 maybe, maybe 98. The song sold like 15 million records. So at the time, everybody saw that video. And I mean everybody because we were still always watching MTV. They still played videos, which was crazy. People were still buying records at record stores. It was a different era. Anyways, I was living in San Diego and everybody was like, wherever I went, people would go, hey, that's the dude from the Jewel video. Because at the time, was all over the place. It was crazy, man. So. Anyways, one day I went to a San Diego Chargers game. They were playing the LA Raiders. Maybe they were the Oakland Raiders in 96. I can't remember what city they were in, but they were playing the Raiders. And so basically it was bunch of Chargers fans and a bunch of Raiders fans all getting drunk and they would get so drunk at those games there'd be fights because the Raiders fans and the Chargers fans hated each other so they would cut off beer sales at the end of the third quarter just to keep people from getting too drunk you know what I mean it was like they just let loose a whole bunch of people from Cape Breton inside the stadium 
It was like zombie land. People would be so wasted, right? It was totally fun. But anyway, so I was there, and I'm waiting in line to get beers because I know they're going to cut off the beer sales. And there's like a Hell's Angel guy that's so mean looking. He's got one of those spider web tattoos on his elbows. He's got his arm around his girl that he calls his old lady because they're Hell's Angels people. And so, anyways, there's like three guys behind me, and they're from Kentucky, and all they're talking about, this ain't my Kentucky. And they got these thick accents and everything. And we're just waiting for the line to get smaller and smaller. And the Hell's Angel guy turns around and looks at me and goes, hey, that's a dude from the Jewel video. <laughs> Old lady goes, that is the dude from the jewel with me. <laughs> and then the Hell's Angel guy says something that you just don't expect somebody to say to you. He goes, hey man, will you sign my old lady's breast? <laughs> and I said, I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> kind of like that, you know? Really nice. And he goes, I want you to do it. <laughs> And then things got really awkward, so I turned to the three guys from Kentucky behind me and I go, uh, let's play a game of 20 questions. I didn't even know why I said that, but that's all I could think of. And the guys from Kentucky go, what's 20 questions? And I go, well, I write a word down on a piece of paper. I take one of you guys on my team and then please you two, and you have to guess what the word is. And you get 20 questions to guess what the word is. He goes, that sounds like a good thing to do while we're waiting online to get a beer. I'll play 20 questions. So the Hells Angels guys look at me and goes, I said, sign my old lady's press. I go, I can't. I played 20 questions. <laughs> so I told the guy, write down a word or two words, whatever you want. You can be a phrase. And so one of the guys from Kentucky, it's just me and him. I go off in the corner. He writes down, donkey dick. <laughs> I'm like, going, holy shit, this is getting weird. Right? <laughs> start and they get asked a question so the first guy goes is it edible <laughs> and the guy with me goes i guess it is <laughs> and then the other kentucky guy goes is it donkey dick <laughs> Teeth put the cat back on. I know you hate it when I leave a light on. I pick a book up, I turn the sheets down, I take a drink, a good look around. I put on my PJs and I hop into bed. I'm half alive, but I feel mostly dead. I tell myself it'll I be alright. Shouldn't think anymore tonight Cause dreams last for so long Even after you're gone Yeah, you were meant for me. <laughs>